everyone, I'm back. Now, uh, here we are with Kurt Swindle, and we're going to buy something off of him with our magical tokens. Curtis Swindle, reputable vendor, despite what you may have heard. Or even directly experienced! Let's see what you've got for sale. In the misbegotten hovel of the booth, you can see a tiny ferris wheel, which seems to be in excellent condition, an ornate looking horn. We've been looking for a ferris wheel just like that one. Oh, have you now? Have you really? Well, you get a kind of elevator feeling in the base of your stomach. It's not for sale, and besides, you couldn't afford it. You don't even want to know how much it is. How much is it? It's a million tokens! Wait, I mean, it's a billion! Is it a million or a billion? It's a million million! That's an awesome word. I'm going to keep saying million billion for the next week. Billion. That is a lot. Not really. I'd really like to take that sin wheel off your hands. Yes, I do happen to have a 164th scale model of the boardwalk's biggest attraction, the sin wheel. And I'll be damned if I relinquish it for less than three tokens. Wait, wasn't it a sin wheel like a billion tokens before? We're having a sale. A sin wheel sale. I think we've got... Three goddamn tokens! One red, one green, and one blue! We have enough for that sin wheel. Well, we've got enough tokens for that sin wheel replica. Yes. Well, yes, very well. A deal is in fact a deal, isn't Isn't that what they say? Yes, a deal. He can't seem to tear his eyes away from the miniature. The lights blink on top, on and off, perhaps communicating with Curtis in some agreed-upon language. I must have your assurance that this wheel will come to no harm while in your care. Gabriel's eyes grow wide. I must insist upon it. You may place in us your absolute confidence, sir. He begins to sing softly to himself. Or to the wheel. It's difficult to tell. He offers you the wheel weakly, then draws it back again. This happens several times. Eventually, he holds it out long enough for you to grasp it, and when you do, his body appears to deflate. Awesome. Now, if you guys can remember, I said we were done with uh, Hobo Alley. Well, I was wrong. Because if you remember, we have a friend here. A very special friend who's always wanted to piss on the sin wheel. You see, the thing is, we now have a mini version of the sin wheel. Can you guess what we're going to do? Oh god damn it, there's more homeless people around. So I figured you guys would be dead. Or at least not filling the streets as much. Wondrous. You guys are hard lit. That was a partial block and he did no damage. That is that is how much we've leveled up. These guys no longer present a challenge to us. We simply humor them. We are simply here to humor and amuse us. T Camper, get! God damn it, T Camper. Do it again. Do. One down. Do you think he only used to be able to do one damage to those guys? Yay. We got some more hobo meat. Shit knows what I'm gonna do with that. Alright, now there's Dr. P. Wimple. Now we don't have to do this till later, but I'm just doing it now to get it out of the way, because I love this guy so much. As you approach Dr. Arnold P. Wimple's lavatory slash laboratory, he gets a glimpse of the prized wheel you carry. That's 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 that is to say, it is it's a 164th scale model of the Boardwalk's biggest attraction. It's a 164th scale model of the Boardwalk's biggest attraction! The Sin Wheel! Do you know what I could do with such a thing? What I could accomplish? Honestly, I'd, I'd rather not think about it. Well, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm in... This is like history or something. Technically, I think it's piss Tory. Well, whatever, fucking word guy. 
Hey, are you sure you don't want in on this? Oh fuck, I'm devoted. Your knowledge is a crucial science, and I'm here to help in whatever way I can. Splendid! Splendid! Dr. Arnold P. Wimple, the noted and possibly only practicing urinologist, prepares to make history. After carefully situating the thin wheel, he turns blessedly away from the party to prepare his apparatus. The ride begins to turn slowly as the weak jet of liquid rushes over the replica. Trickling over the girders and filling buckets where tiny men and women would sit. You hear a wheezing, exhausted carnival melody. The small lights of the wheel twinkle weakly and then go out. Possibly forever! <laughs> that is... That is interesting! It may even be profound! This experience has rocked me to my core! He doesn't seem to hear you. He begins to fiddle with knobs, blue fl- Oh no! Oh, oh, that's fucking oh! Blue flames begin to dance, and the liquids begin to boil. At one point, he pauses to shoo away a cat that has taken up residence on the work surface. Beakers are poured one to the other in an indecipherable flurry of motion. At the final tink, the fluid is vexed and then lies still. There, it's only right that you should have it. You who have con contributed so much. He's giving us a jar of his pee. Wh what just happened? What is this stuff? The future. He returns, impenetrably to his labors. Ultra urine! This potent potty stretches the boundary of urine science. Yep. Fucking awesome. Now we're gonna head to Anne Claire's room because I want to see if I've got enough to um upgrade another weapon. Probably Gabe's knuckles will be upgradable at this point. If not, I'll just uh, go kill some shit. Now, probably you're wondering why exactly did we collect a sample of super urine? Well, it'll become evident pretty soon. Well, before we go to fight the final boss. God damn it! Hit the crate. There we go. Some lightning use. What's up, Anclair? Ah, damn it. We need more parts. Ah, well, never mind. Now, well, back to Pelican Bay. And that, seriously, is the last time on camera I'll ever be going to Hobo Alley. I might go back to grab that those, that singular robot bit I missed in the shithole, but that'll be about it. Now, what we need to do is get another red token and follow and do another request for Madame Zorda. So, you know what that means. It's time to go play flying pricks. Now, um, the ornate horn he has isn't essential. It just, um, it gives you, uh, another music track. So, I don't think I'll pick it up. I'm just gonna go play flying pricks, get another red token, go get my fortune red again. What's up, douchebag? Oh god damn you Satan. Yeah! Nailed it. Now I could play it again and just get one for the third and final fortune, but I'll, I'll get to that when I get to that. Now if I'm right, which I pray to god I am not, the next one is for us to go kill the barbershop quartet. Now there's two of them throughout the entire place. And these guys are a mishmash of all sorts of mental shit. Oh, so now it's green tokens! Fucking... God damn it. Well, I guess you guys get to see me play vandalism one more time, and after that I'll end the video. I love that little song they hum. Well, not so much song as jaunty tune. Yes, I know how to play. Yeah, screw it. Yay! Shit. Shit. I'm awful at this, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, yay. Oh! Ooh! Oh, look at me. I think after we knock the guy out, we just take a fucking token. Alright then, uh, this is a bit. Nah, I'm sure I can talk to Madame Zorda for a few secs before I end the video.
Nah, better yet, I'll end the video here and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.